Hello, everybody. Let's talk about the cycle of evangelism. For me, evangelism is like having a baby. There are four stages that you go through when you're having a baby. I remember when my daughter Vanessa was born, we followed these four stages. Number one is conception. Number two is pregnancy. Number three is delivery. And number four is care, protection, so that person can have the opportunity to reproduce. All right, so those four stages. Let's apply that to church life. I'm an evangelist, and when I do evangelism, I show up at a church. Some people in the church didn't even know there was evangelism. We put all our eggs in the one basket of the series itself, and it's something we pay somebody to do for a month, once every five years. It works best when evangelism is not something we do, but a lifestyle that we have. It's ingrained in the culture of our church. And the way to do that is to have a cycle of evangelism every year. Number one, conception. This is when we make friends. This is when we have felt need seminars. This is when we ask our community. We don't tell our community. We don't say, hey, I think you need this. That's why we're going to do a seminar about it. I would never give a breastfeeding seminar in a retirement home, even though it's true, but it's not needed. I have to ask my community. I have to ask them, what do you need? So go survey the community. Ask the community. Inquire from the community what it is that you need. And based on those responses, then you have your felt need events, seminars, education. First is conception. Second one is pregnancy. This is when the mother and the father, you're finding out all about what happens with the baby and how to take care of it. This is the time, like after you've shown people that you really care for them and you really love them, avenues and opportunities to engage with them are going to open up. So in the, in the pregnancy stage, which lasts nine months, you have Bible studies, right? You, you go for the people who are in pain. You go for the people who are in need. You go for the people who are open, right? You don't try to convince the closed-minded person who, who you're going to spend all day and you're going to hit yourself against a wall. You go for the people who are open. In every single community, there are people who are open. I see a lot of people frustrated in churches because they're like, yeah, it's really hard here. It's really hard with some people, absolutely. But there are other people that God has been preparing for you. Who are they? Right. But if we're not in the community, we're not going to find out. We're not going to have the opportunity to share Jesus with them. Right. This is when you study the Bible. I believe that it happens best at a slow pace in the home. Small group. Bible study. A smaller venue. It's a pregnancy. Number three is the delivery. As an evangelist, I consider myself to be like the delivery doctor. I just come to deliver the baby. But it's really hard to have pregnancy, conception, pregnancy, and delivery in one month. If that were to happen in a natural world, it would be called a miscarriage. Sometimes the reason, some, listen, sometimes the reason why people connect and then disconnect. It's not because they haven't been trained. It's not because they have, the Bible hasn't been explained because there hasn't been a connection, right? It hasn't been a connection with the local church members. So the evangelistic series, and I, I'm going to say something that some of you are going to push back on. I totally get it. Totally agree with it. Push back. Fine. I love you anyway. I believe in this day and age, shorter series that are reaping series 
are better geared for the modern world than longer series. It's my perspective. Some of you do longer series and it works great for you. Happy. But just don't be married to a model. Tomorrow, my model, the model that I operate under, and by the way, I wrote a book called Everyone Welcome. You can read my model and how I do it. You can just go to rogerhernandez.org. You can find it there. Shameless plug. It is important for us to understand that we live in a world where everybody's going, everybody's busy. To ask people to stop what they're doing for a whole month is increasingly harder. So you're going to get a part of the demographic, but you will get a bigger portion of the demographic if you do it only in a week, right? With a lot of prep work. In our evangelistic meetings, we have nine months, right? I have the whole process set up and how we do it and the way we do it. We have over nine months. And then the emergency series is short. The reason why we sometimes have to have longer series is because we haven't done any prep work. So we want to com compress into one month everything they should have known over nine months. That's a delivery. The evangelist is a delivery person, right? We just deliver the baby. And then care and preparation so that baby is able to, at some point, reproduce itself. The point of evangelism is not to make converts. Is to make disciples. A disciple is somebody who reproduces. So the moment that they get baptized, that's the best moment to explain to them and engage them and enlist them so they can start then talking to other people, their family, their friends, the people that cut their hair. Right? That, that's the best time to engage. If you wait a while and say, well, you just got baptized. I just want you to sit down and listen for a year. You lost you lost it. You lost it. So the preparation that when somebody gets baptized, when I brought my daughter home, I I didn't say, hey, listen, Vanessa, there's the fridge and there's the car. If you need it, uh, you know, we're going to be over there in this room. We took care of her. We took care of her. Immediately, she became part of our family, right? Special attention needs to be put, especially with the person who just got baptized. I wrote a book called Grow, uh, specifically for people who just got baptized. I'll give it to you for free. If you want to write me, uh, go to my YouTube, Pastor Roger Hernandez. The book is there free for download. It's a 30-day journal that can show the newly baptized members four things. Understand the gospel. Understand how they can grow. Understand their gift and giving. And understand that we're a global church. It's not just a little church that got baptized in. But we're part of a global organization. So those are the four things. If you want to go deeper, we're going to have some questions. You can send me questions. You can put them there in the chat. I love to engage with you. But understand that evangelism, the evangelism cycle is like having a baby. You connect. Then you share. Then you invite, and then you once the, the baby has been delivered, then you train them up, deploy them, so they themselves can reproduce. And then next year, you do it all over again until Jesus comes back. Thank you very much. That's the cycle of evangelism. From my perspective, I do 10 to 12 evangelistic series a year, so I see these all the time, if you follow the process, the process will, will work for you. It's just a matter of following the process. I love to talk to you. love to engage to you, with you. Thank you for the opportunity of coming to you today. May you be blessed. And remember that if God is for us, those who are against us 